Hi everyone. So this is basics. We're just beginning. Couple of definitions for you. Let's talk about a law. I'm going to read this off to you. Concise, mathematical, or verbal statement of behavior or a relation that is consistently observed in nature, in nature without contradiction. So it doesn't change. A law doesn't change. Some examples of this would be like conservation of mass, conservation of energy. Next, a theory. I think this is the one that's most misused. Uh, in the vernacular, people say, oh, I have a theory, which is really just, I have a guess or I have an opinion. And in science, it means something totally different. A theory is a well-tested unifying principle that explains a body of facts. So we have evidence, a lot of evidence often, and from that we derive a theory that explains that body of facts. Really good example of this is going to be our Bronsted-Lowry acid-base theory. Thousands, millions of data points um, on that. Now hypothesis, when people say, oh, I have this theory, really what they're saying is I have a hypothesis. Um, so a hypothesis is a tentative explanation or prediction based upon the experimental observations. So based on observations, we make a statement. We make that educated guess. Lastly, I want to leave you with quantitative and qualitative. Remember, quantitative is numbers, anything that's numeric, and qualitative is observations, uh, what we observe um, that we can't tie numbers to. So there we have the basics.